In December of 2013, the coconut rhinoceros beetle was first discovered on Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. A few months later, the state and federal agencies cut down 150 coconut trees to stop this invasive species. Recently, I had the privilege to interview Mr. Rob Curtis, the pest control branch manager of the Hawaii Department of Agriculture, to learn more about the coconut rhinoceros beetle. Hi, nice to meet you. So the coconut rhinoceros beetle is a relatively new pest to Hawaii. It uh, attacks palm trees, coconuts being its preferred host, but it'll attack our native palms. It'll also attack agricultural products like um, pineapples, sugarcane, taro, and um, a few others. The coconut rhinoceros beetle will have very broad ranging effects if it gets established and widespread in Hawaii. It can affect our tourism industry by having trees that are currently in parks having to be removed. It will affect property values because people like to have trees on their properties and they like to have palms here in Hawaii. It can affect agriculture because there are um, important plants that it will, that it will attack like pineapple and sugarcane and taro. And um, it will also affect potentially our culture here in Hawaii because culturally uh, coconuts are very important. There's ancient palm stands on the Big Island and on Molokai that um, if the beetle was to establish there, they could wipe those, those ancient palm stands out. If we don't get rid of the coconut rhinoceros beetle, it could very easily get out of control in Hawaii. And we can compare ourselves to Palau in the 1950s. On Palau, they got this beetle in the 1950s, and within 10 years' time, they lost between 50 and 60 percent of all their palms. So half of all the palms here in Hawaii could disappear if this beetle gets out of control. And if that happens, the next things that they're going to go after are pineapples, sugarcane, taro, and bananas. So the coconut rhinoceros beetle has a typical insect life cycle, where it starts as an egg, becomes a larva, in this case we call this a grub, and that grub feeds and eventually gets to the point where it pupates, where it's going to rest and then become an adult. And the adult beetle will emerge after a few weeks. Now this, this whole life cycle, from egg all the way through to adult, will take about three to four months, depending on how good the food quality is. Once they become an adult, they can live for up to nine months as an adult. They lay, in their lifetime, up to 120 eggs. And they can fly, as you guys saw earlier today. But typically, they don't fly. Typically, they will stay in the breeding site for most of their life. And when they need to feed on a palm tree, if there's one nearby, they'll fly to it. And they'll feed for a day or two and then they'll fly back down to the breeding site and lay more eggs. So they spend very little time up in the trees, even though they damage the trees a lot. So one thing that, that the members of the public can do to help us is if they see some of these telltale signs, if they see trees that are damaged, call them in. They can call 643-PEST, our state pest hotline, and we will respond to that. They can also, um, let us know if they have mulch piles that have unusual insects in them, if they have grubs in them that are very large. They can call that in. Um, we're always happy to, to speak to people and give them information, and we really do ask that people report anything that's unusual. If you've seen this coconut rhinoceros beetle, please call the Stop Rhino Hotline at 643-PEST, P-E-S-T. Let's all join forces to stop the spread of this invasive species that can destroy our Hawaii name. I'm Skylar Valdez from Kavai Hono Okonawa Wao Public Charter School, Ahuiho e Malama Pono. <laughs>